What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're jumping on Assetto Corsa uh, for another run around on this game. Um, just letting you know as well that this video is once again sponsored by 505 Games in partnership with Media Kicks. And as well with this video you can also enter into the giveaway to win um, the DLC pass. Now as this video is being recorded um, I'm going to be contacting the winners from the previous sponsored video. The people who won that previous giveaway I'll be contacting them and um, just keep an eye out for the comments of the previous video and you guys may potentially have won a, uh, a free DLC uh, pack to uh, Assetto Corsa. So for this video as well, we're going to be continuing that giveaway and to enter this one, make sure you click the link in the description either to the Xbox site or the PS4 site uh, for Assetto Corsa. Once you've done that, then put in the comments which car you're most excited to drive and um, I'll be picking the winners in a week's time once again. And also, just to let you know um, that this game is now available to, to buy, to download through the Xbox site or also the uh, PSN store as well. So go check that out in the description. It's Soto Corsa, it's available now. And uh, yeah, let's get into this video. Try out one of my most favorite cars ever. But um, previously, before I was like a massive F1 channel, um, I was playing a lot of Forza, the old Forza games. And like what I did was I jump in the McLaren F1 and I drive around the Nordsch life. Uh, I, I, I drove around it just about every day. A lot of you guys don't know this, but yeah, that's something that I did. I'm going to do a bit of a throwback to that. Unfortunately, they don't have the McLaren F1 GTR long tail, but we still have the GTR edition itself. So we're going to jump in that. We're going to go around the Nordsch life. It's been years since I've properly had to go at this track, so it should be pretty fun, and uh, we'll see how we get on. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, around the Nürburgring Nordschleife, and uh, we're going to give this a bit of a go. Oh man, it's been, it's been so many years since I've done this track and car combination. I can't wait to get this underway. Let's go in the McLaren F1 GTR, racing against some really classic cars as well. We've got that Ferrari, which I've just uh, run into the side of here. But uh, again, running with uh, virtually no assists. Uh, I think the AI difficulty is on easy. And we may need to bump that up depending on uh, how we go over the next minute or two. But um, I'm just going to apologise in advance. Because there will be crashes, there will be mistakes. It's been, it's been a very, very long time since I've driven on this track. And even when you're familiar with this track, there are so many corners that could just catch you out. It's, it's, it's near impossible to, um, to get a clean lap out of the Nordsch life when you're, especially when you're on the limit, I'll say that much. But at the moment, we're sitting in P12 at the moment, doing quite well. Um, made up three spots off that initial start. Surviving the start is very crucial. There's a white flag up ahead, so someone, no. I was thinking it's for someone going slowly. The car went airborne briefly there. We've hit the wall, we've hit the wall. I don't think damage is on, so I think we might be okay. The wheel is going crazy with the force feedback, but we survive. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh dear. Oh, this is so bumpy. You, you guys have no idea how how much of a... Oh, this is torture. This is torture for my wheel at the moment. It's just like flailing everywhere <laughs> with the, the force feedback. Let's restart this and give this another go. That was so intense. I've just got to... I just gotta sit back and just have a breather for a second there. That was, uh, yeah, very intense trying to hold on to the car there. Four red lights and away we go once again for a another blast around the Norch life. The, the goal for this video is going to be trying to survive. Um, simple as that. Just trying to finish the lap. And if we can overtake a few cars in the process, then that's going to be a massive bonus. For some reason, I, again, like, don't have the braking performance. I think that just might be me. Um, not being used to the uh, capabilities of these cars, but we'll get used to it, we'll get used to it. It's P11 at the moment, looking very nice as we lose the back end like crazy. Just driving this track in general is just so fun, even when you're not racing other cars. Now we know there's a huge jump here. <laughs> oh, the crackles and pops. Oh, okay, away we go for this race once again. Just as I was saying, um, just before. There's this weird thing with my Thrustmaster wheel and pedals. Like, I have to really jump on the brakes and get them to 100% before they calibrate properly. And that was the case again here. So, 
for the first you know minute or two of me driving, that's why I was going straight on when I was coming into heavier braking zones. But that's that issue is now sorted, and we can drive properly now. You can. I just want you guys to listen to the engine. I can hear those crackles and pops in the background every so often. And those bangs as we smash into other cars. I'm just, I'm just waiting for the, uh, I'll have to wait until I get to a braking zone before I stop talking again. Oh no! No, it's fine, it's fine, we're all good again. But I tell you what, whenever we venture off track or the car really starts to, uh, lose some stability, it becomes near impossible with the strength of the force feedback to hang on to this thing. There it is! That's the crackles and pops we were asking for! Awesome soundtrack in this car, it's beautiful. Oh, here we go. I always remember this bit being a bit intense. I used to fly over this uh, curbing here. The car would get up on three wheels. You turn it in here, just like on the edge of um, grip there. It's really good when you're not running in traffic because you can really push the limits through there. Oh, this is a throwback. Up the inside. They are going a bit conservative into there and we will take advantage is this the uh, Ferrari F40 we're coming up against? I know I'm not the best when it comes to uh, recognizing and naming cars, but I have... That does look familiar to me. I think I've seen it on, like, Seen Through Glass and Supercars of London's um, YouTube channel here and there. Uh, beautiful cars that we're racing with today. <laughs> A beautiful soundtrack to, uh, to partner that as well. I don't mind if I do. Now we're really starting to find that rhythm, find that groove with the Seto Corsa. And just when you get used to, to racing games and you can just drive well, it's just so, it's just that much more fun. Oh, I can't see. Oh, this is high speed. We have to take to the grass to overtake. And, and thankfully enough, the, uh, the grass there is just forgiving enough for us to make the move around the outside. Had to keep the uh, steering straight there, otherwise we would have been gone for all money on the limit here through the, Nür the Nürburgring Nordschleife. And this is honestly so much fun. Position 8 at the moment, use that curb on the right hand side. Actually didn't touch it at all. Heavy braking zone coming up. Stamp on the brakes as we try and out brake and out traction this Ferrari F40. Now comes up to this um, very unique banked corner where you have to stick to the inside. I think it is for the first one. And yes, we will do that. He's run wide onto the top there, so we'll just snatch the inside there. You can go so much faster when you're on the inside there. And we move into P... We're only P7. There's a huge gaggle of cars way up the road. Seven, eight seconds up the road. We'll need to catch up to those guys, hopefully, if we can find some clean air. But we're well past... Well past the halfway point of this lap now, so if we want to catch those guys, we really need to get a move on. Okay, now we're coming to the uh, almost close of the lap now. This is where the flow of the Nordschleife life really comes into it. Yes, we're going to be inside of two cars, are we? Had to barge him out of the way a little bit. It's going to be around the outside for this right-hander, and I think... Yes, we have. Oh, no, 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 no. I just went in a little bit too deep there. And this McLaren is an absolute monster trying to control this thing. But yes, we've done it. We've got track position now. We've got some clean air. Let's just absolutely eat up this road in front of us and try and catch up to this lead group. I'm going to stay on board here. This is my favorite part of the racetrack coming up. Oh, no. No. Oh, man. It, it's really hard when you're driving through this for the first time just to get a gauge of what the car is capable of and you know what you can get away with on a Seto Corsa. Of course I'm not an expert at this game by any means. Wow, how do we survive that? This is this is just me reacting and trying to save it. This used to be my favorite corner in the world back in the day before I played F1 games, but now we've uh, We've stuffed that up. We have royally stuffed that up. I need to get back on the track. It is so hard to recover once you're off. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've just completely screwed up. 
that final bit here. There's only two or three more corners to go in this lap now. <laughs> the rear tires! The rear tires are on fire. I can't I can't get going again. I have royally screwed this up, guys, to finish off this video, and I supremely apologize. The rear end is just on fire with the uh, the tires. Feels like you just don't have any traction to get going once you get a little too sideways. But now this is essentially the final straight. And we're just too far away from the cars in front of us to uh, to catch up to them. Um, we're going to have one or two more corners. You can see the car on the left-hand side just absolutely blow past us. And we'll try and get some slipstream back on him. He's braking. Didn't quite need to do that. We've got an achievement. I don't want to look down. I don't want to look down because we're going to crash. Yep. Tried to brake and uh, the car just went straight on there. The car is out of control as we come through the final sequence of corners to round up this lap of the Nürburgring Nordschleife. Can we get the Ferrari? There's a wall there. We'll try and out traction him. But I don't think we're going to do it as we come up to the line. That's it. We end up in position 14. So a gain of only two places there. But that was incredibly fun. Let's no, 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 no. Let's see if we can uh, watch the replay of uh, that race. But uh, yeah, that was incredible, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new to see plenty more uh, racing game videos. And once again, a massive thank you to 505 Games and Media Kicks for sponsoring this video. The giveaway um, to enter that, just um, make sure you let us know what your favorite car is in a set of course, or which one you're most excited for. And in about a week's time, I'll contact the winners from this video and you guys can win yourselves a DLC pass for this game. So uh, yeah, that's been this video for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, until my next video, I'll see you next time. <laughs> that was the moment where we oh, just did a wheelie. Oh, incredible stuff.